All right, guys, just want to do a quick video here about how to get a August Burns Red kind of tone um, in uh, some sort of amp simulator software that you can use. I'm using Bias Effects, but you can do the same thing in pretty much any uh, amp simulating software. So I'm just going to open up mine, which is Bias Effects. Uh, you can use whatever you want, Bias Effects, uh, Pod Farm, whatever is out there. Um, to start off with this one, it preloads this uh, preset called Arsenal. I'm not going to use that. We're just going to start over. I'll just start with one that's under Factory Rock 90s British just because there's less stuff to go through and delete that we don't want to use. Okay, so for your amp, what you want to do is double click that to open up all the amps in here. Go to the high gain ones. And basically you just want to use an amp that's simulating like a, a PV5153 or a PV6505 because that's what the band actually uses. JB Brewbreaker uses the, the 6505. Um, so in this program, they have the, this is called the 04 Insane 5153, and uh, the, this amp, the 5153 and the 6505 in real life are the same amp. So this one's modeling the 5153, the older style one, and that's fine. And what you want to do is set your settings for the gain, put it at about 3.5, put your bass at around 6, put your mids right around 6, your treble is going to be at 7, put your presence at right around 9-ish, and just set your master to whatever you want for your recording. And then what you want to do for effects, let's go over here and let's add some more effects. Go to drive. All right, this pedal is called the 808 OD. Just drag that one out here and put it before the amp. Get rid of this one, you don't need that. And open it up and you want to set your settings to kind of what you see here, the drive right around nine o'clock and the tone and the level right around two o'clock. And another thing you want to do is put a gate in there too because there's going to be a little bit of noise. And the next thing we want to do is add an EQ to fine tune the tone a little bit. So what I use on this program is a, uh, a 10 band EQ that's built in here. You just want to open that up and kind of set it how you see here. All I've done is just take away a bit of the mids. I lowered some of the highs and boosted some of the lower mids here. So that pretty much covers the ABR tone. That's what I use a lot for covers and doing my tutorial videos for songs that sound like that sort of uh, metal style. And let's hear what it sounds like. And if you want to do something uh, to like uh, turn it into a lead tone, because this is more of like a rhythm tone, like if you want to play solos and stuff, you can use it. But if you want to make it sound better for lead, uh, just turn up the gain a little bit, maybe like to five or six somewhere in there. Go to effects, add some echo and reverb. Like here's a, just use a basic delay for this, just for an example, so you can get the idea. And then a little uh, reverb here. And make sure those both of those are on. And with those effects, it'll be a lot better for playing lead. So let's hear what that sounds like. All right, and that pretty much covers how to get a tone that sounds kind of like August Burns Red. If there's other bands that you want to see uh, how to create a tone for with this amp simulation software like this, uh, just leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.